All right, well, there is a big thing that's coming back to the DC community, and that is comedy. Live shows are opening up and tickets are going on sale. We're gonna go straight to the source for this one. Joining me now, we have Liz Mealy, who is performing at the Arlington Draft House this weekend. Liz, thank you for joining us today for Great Day Washington. Thanks for having me. I imagine that you have to be just as happy as we are to have live shows back and not be doing your comedy on Zoom. What was that like for you for the last, what, year and a half? I'm so happy. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, I'm grateful that it was an option. Like, I keep saying, yeah. like, if this happened in, like, 1994, like, I would have just literally not done comedy for a year, and I don't know if I would have mentally survived. But yeah. uh, it's, you, I got into comedy for the response, like, you know, the, the back and forth response from people. So to have to experience it via Zoom where there's like a delay, there's not that group think because there's, you know, a panel here and a panel there and people there and somebody's vacuum cleaning for some reason and dog is barking. <laughs> My alarm just went off for no reason. Like it's just chaos on Zoom. So not to say that live shows aren't chaos as well, because now you just have drunk people together, but it's <laughs> it, at least there's this, um, you just get hit in the face with community and laughter. And I, I've, I've genuinely missed it. Right. I have to imagine, even if the drunk people are yelling things at you, that's much more entertaining for you and fun to play off of. Um, your set is pretty female focused, right? So for if we're coming out to Arlington Draft House, should we bring our girlfriends? Should this be a date night? What do you recommend? What's the atmosphere like? Um, I wouldn't say it's female focused, but I guess I'm always going to have the perspective of a woman. Oh. I'm a small woman. I'm a loud woman. <laughs> um, so I, I mean, I, if you if you like an angry Italian woman, I think I'm for you, uh, <laughs> no matter who you are. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I love when groups of girls bring their friends. I've had groups of guys come. I've had date night. My parents are coming tonight, which oh my, my dad's only seen me live like three times. So that's that's Honestly, that's where my curiosity is. I was like, am I still going to be his daughter? Um, so <laughs> hold back knowing I, he's in the audience. Um, my mom, my, I, me and my mom are like, I'm, I am my mom just, you know, 20 years younger. Like yeah. I'm just crazy. And when my mom rants, I'm like, oh, that's where I got that from. <laughs> my dad, my dad is very from the fifties. And I think when I curse or am like too open, cause I'm a very open person. He's like, I didn't teach her that. Like, <laughs> but he saw my last special and no joke. He just went, was it too bad? That and that was the biggest compliment. That's cause good. he's very supportive. But at the same time, I yeah. think I'm just, he's never hindered me from doing stand up, but I think he like white knuckles the table watching me. <laughs> I can't imagine it's comfortable. I really can't. Um, what do you do with the DC audience? Are we different than other areas across the country? Like, do you get political on stage because it's DC? Um, I love DC audiences. Honestly, the DMV area is just kind of the smartest, most like ready to laugh audiences. I, I mean, honestly, I've toured all over the world. I've been to like 30 countries and wow. it's really like, I love Sydney, I love London and DC. Like those are my cities and I'm not even wow. uh, blowing smoke up your butts. Um, but uh, I'm not very political. I think mm. in the sense that I'm a female comic speaking her truth, I think that's a political statement. I have undertones of po politicalness just from being a feminist and um, uh, having strong opinions, but I'm not someone that comes on stage and talks about Trump or talks like explicitly. I mostly tell cat jokes. I have a new joke about <laughs> hating kidding. math. Like I'm, <laughs> I, people don't come to see me for politics. They, they yeah. genuinely come to see a, a crazy woman, I think. I don't know. I don't know why people come to see me. <laughs> I, you know what? I love female comedians because I sit in the audience and I'm like, yes, you're speaking our truth. So thank you for doing that, Liz, for us. What time are the shows this weekend? Um, I believe every night it's 7.30. Oh, yeah, 7 and 9.30. I'm glad you put that up. There I had no go. idea. <laughs> We've got you, Liz. Don't worry. Thank you so much for joining us. We're thrilled that you are back on stage live, just uh, the same as you are to not be on Zoom. Thank you again. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. All right, everyone go check her out this weekend.